Oi, shipmates. Got a lovely spot of summer fog here in this early morning. Unfortunately, I overslept and didn't get out to drone in the fog. It's a shame because it looks rather, rather pretty. And in fact, the anthem of the seas arrives just as the fog was lifting, so I would have got some great shots. Never mind, let's have a look at something else. The Hapag Lloyd Al Hilal. This is slightly unusual for a container ship arriving in the port of Southampton. It doesn't have any containers on it. I've been waiting for some time to try and drone an empty container ship uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because I haven't droned one before, and I quite like the emptiness. I think perhaps it might make some interesting shots. That's lovely sky, as you can see, those, those, those clouds, really interesting clouds. Now, there's a couple of reasons. One, I haven't droned one before, so it's interesting to see the structure of how the containers are mounted on the various different guides, because we don't normally see this level of detail. And the second, which we'll see later, is when, well actually you can see it now, you can see because it is not loaded with containers, it is really high out of the water. And it gives us a really good opportunity here to see the bulbous bow. That's the red protruding part at the front of the ship. Normally you wouldn't see this because the water line it would come more or less where that black paint on the hull finishes and typically covers the bulbous bow. Sometimes you can just about see them and some, sometimes you can't see them at all. Now the purpose of the bulbous bow is all to do interference waves. Normally when a ship is moving through water it creates a wake, a bow wave. And the purpose of the bulbous bow is to create a wave just before the main part of the ship of the hull hits the wave, thus cancelling it out and thus reducing the bow wave. Per the point of reducing the bow wave means that there is less of a ripple down the sides of the ship and therefore reduces drag and friction and improves fuel economy. Exciting stuff. But look at that, that's the propeller sticking out of the back. We'll get a shot of that, have a bit more video of that in a second. But that was the other reason that I wanted to take uh, some photos of the unloaded container ship. The fact that you can see the propeller churning the water up at the rear. I'm going to fly quite low here. I had to. Uh, I was going to do it on the previous shot, but there were some birds in circling around, and I've I've had a rather dramatic encounter with an oyster catcher before, so I I went up out of the way and I've come back down because the oyster catcher seems to have buzzed off somewhere. But I think this gives you a really good view now of the Al Hilal's propeller. I don't think you can see it in my shots but when I was there in person I could see the tippy tip of the propeller blades spinning round. Just shows you how much higher out of the water the ship is when it is unloaded fully loaded, like I say, the water would be somewhere near the black paint on the hull. Let's have a little zoom in here. Yeah, I don't think we can quite see it from this angle. But anyway, interesting nonetheless, wouldn't you say? Got the HMM Dublin at the end of port there. She is a monster. It's not a bad little shot, this. I like the deck on the tug being red. It really suits the aerial. I'm going off one a bit higher here because I think actually seeing the container ship empty is quite interesting. I'm not sure I like the position I've taken this shot from. Um, a little too much blank water on the left hand side. Oh, I'm a bit rusty. Uh, no, that's not my pet dog, that's just my ability to take photographs on the drone. It's been a little while because I thought the controller was broken. I've got that back from Holland, it all seems to be working. And so the weather, uh, this weather seems to just goes really wet and windy when I have time and all everything's functioning. As soon as I don't have time, you know, the weather improves. Yes. 
Well, until next time, shipmates.